Hi, in this video we're going to show you a couple of ways to remove partitions or volumes on a hard drive that you might not be able to remove using disk management. Okay, so on this computer here we have the main disk with the C drive with Windows and then it was cloned to this other drive here so it made the same C drive partition except you know gave it a different drive letter of course and it has the EFI partition here and the recovery partition here plus some extra space. So let's say you wanted to delete all these partitions here so it's just one empty volume and then make a new one. So you would think, you know, you could just right click, delete volume, it works just fine for this one. So now that's unallocated space. And let's say you wanted to get rid of this one, so you right click, you can't do anything. And this one's grayed out. And this is unallocated space. Anyway, so this one's fine. So we need to get rid of these two partitions. So there's a couple ways to do it, since you can't do it from disk management here. Uh, one of them's going to be from the command line using disk part, and the other one's going to be using a free program called Niubi Partition Editor, which we have here. They have a standalone version and an installer, so I'm running the standalone version here. So once you download it, unzip it, you just run the executable. So I have it running down here. Let me refresh here since we made some changes here. Okay, so we have our unallocated space. And then you can see here it actually found a little extra partition that disk management doesn't show here, the 16 megabyte one. Okay, so with this program, you could right click, delete volume. And then we'll do it over here, delete volume. It's saying it's going to result in losing the Windows recovery environment, but that's okay because it's not the real Windows disk. So we'll say yes. And then this one here, it's not going to work on. So you might run into this problem. And so you might have to use the second method anyways, if this doesn't work for you. But I just wanted to point this out that you could use this program to remove partitions that disk management can't. And then of course, with this program here, once you make some changes, you have to click on apply for it to take effect. Now it's going to refresh. So we still have this little extra partition here. So you can either leave it and use your space here, or you could use the second method. All right, so I'm going to go offline and reset this computer to the way it was when we first started the video so we could do the second method. Okay, so we're back to where we started here with the partitions here on the secondary disk. So we're going to use disk part, like I mentioned, to get rid of them. So I have the commands here, which I'll put in the description. You'll just have to edit some of these numbers uh, when you do it yourself here. All right, so we're going to open a command prompt. Probably best to do an administrative command prompt. Otherwise, you're just going to get a UAC prompt anyways. All right, so the first command is just to get into disk part. And now you can see we have a disk part prompt, and now we can start typing our commands here. All right, so the first one we're going to do is list a disk. So we'll just copy and paste that in so I don't have to type it. Okay, so we want disk one, which is this guy here. So the next command, let me change this to a one because it's different from the last time I used it. Okay, so now disk one is the selected disk. So now we need to list the partitions on that disk. So we have four partitions here, which should match up what we have with here. We have our 100 megabyte, the 16, which doesn't show here, but it showed in the Niobe program. Then we have our 80 gig drive here and our 642. And this is not a partition because this is unallocated space. All right, so we're going to select our first partition here. So we're going to start with partition one. So now that's the selected active partition. So now we need to delete the partition with, the, with delete partition override. Okay. So now we're going to select partition two. And now you could just use the up arrow on the keyboard to toggle through the previous commands here. Now we're going to do partition three. And 
And then finally partition four. Okay, so now let's go back into list partition. Let's toggle through here. See no partitions on the disk now. So if we go back here, okay, it already refreshed it on its own. So now we have all of the partitions gone. And if we go back into Niobe here and refresh, you can see it's unallocated as well. All right, so those are your two methods. So I will put a link in the description where you could download Niobe Partition Editor. And then I will put these commands in the description as well. Just make sure you change these numbers accordingly so you don't delete the wrong partition. Make sure you pick the correct disk to begin with and so on. And of course, if you have any important data on it, make sure to back it up first because it will definitely be erased. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.